Welcome, this is Jack Graham from Simply Vegas. Thank you so much for watching. Today we're gonna go over the real estate market in the United States, and in particular, we're gonna go over the Las Vegas real estate market. And uh, we're gonna talk about uh, what's happening in the market, as well as what are the factors that are affecting it. And so that you can make a decision whether you're buying or selling, uh, you know, to say, hey, maybe it's the right time for me to sell, or hey, maybe it's the right time for me to buy a home. So let's get into it and let's talk a little bit about this so uh, you guys uh, can have a little bit more information and can come to your own conclusions regarding this. Uh, so the first thing I wanted to cover is the unemployment rate. We saw in uh, August the unemployment rate in the United States went down to 8.4% as you can see right here. Uh, so many, uh, many places predicted that uh, the unemployment rate was going to be above 9%. However, it's only 8.4%, which is a good news. And uh, it's showing how the recovery has been pretty uh, fast from when we started, uh, you know, when the pandemic started in March. So 8.4% uh, unemployment rate is great. And if we go straight to Nevada, however, we see the highest unemployment rate at 13.2%. Now, uh, there's many factors and reasons why we could be at 13.2%. Obviously, the most logical thing that we can think of is that obviously we are a city that is based on tourism. So people flying in and at the moment, nobody is going out and flying into Las Vegas. So, uh, or at least way less people are flying into Las Vegas. So that's why we're getting this 13% of um, unemployment. However, we could also argue, hey, in California, we have 11.4% interest rates, you know, and over there, they're still locked down. So that's pretty close to what we have in Nevada, even though they're not based off of uh, our, uh, you know, tourism that we have. So definitely, uh, I think uh, it has something to do with the fact that, you know, the city is still shut down at the moment uh, due to the, our governor, Sisolak, whatever his name is, um, that uh, kept the, the city shut down longer than needed. I don't know. You let me know in the comments, should we still be shut down? Uh, I think uh, we have uh, recorded, we're recording around three to five deaths per day into Nevada. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's tough how we're still shut down and it's ruining our, our economy, literally, uh, because 13% is still high compared to the national average that is 8.4%. So let me know in the, uh, down in the comments what you think about that. But many people have been comparing this, uh, this crisis that we're having, this health crisis that we've we've been having to the 1930s which is when we had the Great Depression uh, for those of you that don't know we had um, a Great Depression in the 1930s where uh, unemployment rate went up like crazy and it stayed above 12% uh, for over 10 years as you can see right here we had in 1931 it went up to 16% then 24 uh, you know and it stayed all the way above uh, 14 percent all the way until 1940. Now that's 10 years, right? Whereas if we com uh, we compare it to today's unemployment, we have 8.4 percent uh, unemployment rate, which has been going down from earlier this year up to 16 percent, I believe, unemployment was right in the middle of the pandemic. So uh, we don't have that situation right now, and uh, all the all the people that have been saying, "Oh, this is a new depression; everything is going to crash," we're really not seeing that as of right now from the data that we're getting. But I don't know; I might be wrong. You tell me again. Uh, would love to hear some of your guys' comments down there and see what you guys think about this and where we're going. However, um, another thing that I wanted to mention is that um, Wall Street Journal, a journal actually mentioned that next year in 2021, we're expecting six, they are expecting 6.3% of unemployment rate, which is really good. It's a pretty fast recovery if you consider, you know, um, where we were uh, back this year. Right now, we're, if next year we're already at 6.3%, that's a pretty fast recovery. And I think that we're already in a, in a position where we can start growing again as an economy if we go down to that 6.3% um, 
interest rate, which is not that far away. We're almost uh, in October, so uh, we should be in a better situation next year. And, uh, you know, the thing is that I wanted to uh, mention also is the number of pending sales uh, in Las Vegas. And what we've been seeing is that uh, we are selling 16% more homes this year than last year. And the reason why I wanted to bring up these stats is uh, because if you think about it, Everybody has been saying that we have low inventory and that, uh, you know, that's why homes are not going up. However, we are selling more homes than last year, 16% more homes than last year. That is remarkable. That's, that's not something that happens right away, which means that homes are coming on the market. It's just that they're going out off the market so fast that it doesn't allow uh, the market to breathe and you know get some more inventory in the market so that buyers can uh, you know a little bit have a little bit more of a choice on what kind of home they can buy uh, so that's what's been happening right now and the reason why is just because we have a, such a huge demand for people uh, to purchase a home now uh, the reasons why we have such a huge demand and it's not much the inventory, as we said, that has been causing prices to go up, is because I believe people have reevaluated the importance of a home uh, because of the different uh, social economical situation that we're in. Uh, consider, you know, last year people were always out, always entertaining themselves, doing things, and working out. Right now, we have people that are considering, hey, my house is also going to be the place where I'm going to entertain people. And um, that's how people are meeting up nowadays. They can't go out and do things. So they're saying, hey, I need to have a better home to entertain people. Or I can't work at uh, my job because obviously, you know, we're all working from home. So I need a home office. I need to reevaluate where I need to be uh, and what kind of home I need to have so that I am in a better situation, you know, and what if prices keep going up? I'm going to be in a worse situation later on. So because of this reason, we've been getting a lot of demand to purchase homes. And that's why we see this huge increase in pending homes compared to last year. Okay. Um, also, well, the, another reason, obviously, is the fact that we have super low interest rates, right? Um, and uh, that's, that's causing the housing market to be way more affordable compared to uh, what it was last year. And I'll show you here, for example, on this graph, it shows you the housing affordability from 1990 all the way until today. And uh, you see how in 1990 houses were way more affordable down here. No, sorry, we're uh, way less affordable. And then uh, what we had is in uh, the 2008, 2009, because of the Great Recession, we had uh, home prices that became way more affordable. And this is the reason why, because uh, prices went down, right? However, now prices that haven't gone down, they actually have gone up. However, the affordability is going back up. Right here in 2016, 17, we had interest rates starting to go up, right? And uh, that's why the affordability has been going down. But prices have still kept going up. And instead of, uh, you know, affordability to keep going down, we have affordability going up. And that's because of interest rates. Interest rates going down make us afford a home um, way easier uh, than uh than what it was a year or two ago. And that's what we're seeing right now in the market. In fact, if you were to purchase a home today, uh, even if it's um, if prices have gone up 5 6% from last year, uh, we have, however, a, a home that uh, is more affordable because the interest rates being 1% lower, it, that's 10% in purchase price. Um, that you're gaining from having a lower interest rate. So um, consider every 1% interest rate going down, you're saving 10% on the purchase price. So that's why we have this uh, affordability going up right here.
And, um, you know, hopefully I would love to see this going up even more because that means that we can afford homes and everybody can get into a home, which I'm a big uh, proponent of. I believe people should have uh, the possibility to invest in real estate because it does um, allow people to create wealth and even generation, generation wealth for their family and, uh, you know, eventually for their kids. So what else do we have here right now? Oh, this is the, um, uh, the forecast that we had from, uh, you know, for example, Zillow, Fannie Mae, and CoreLogic. So the left one is before when we had the pandemic, and now this is after. So what's happening is people are reevaluating what they think is going to happen in the, in the real estate market, and you see how home, the, everybody's predicting now gains in home prices uh, this year and next year for the next 12 months. Okay, and, and you can see that people have changed their minds a lot. And that's due to the unemployment going down and all the data that we're getting right now that is coming out. And uh, people are reevaluating the situation, which is a positive thing. You know, everybody, all the experts are thinking that now uh, home prices are going to go up. And, uh, you know, this is what they're thinking. However, they were, they were wrong before. Right here, they might be wrong again. So this is up to you and what you think is going to happen next to uh, our economy and to the real estate market. And here are the projections from all the major, uh, you know, experts and what they're thinking right now. And everybody looks like they're thinking there's going to be gains over the next 12 months in real estate. Um, one more thing is uh, that we need to consider is the amount of forbearances. And, and that's it's showing to level be leveling off right here as we're going below four millions in active forbearances uh, which means that you know people are not in forbearance anymore and we want to see this uh, trending down as much as possible and you know hopefully we can we can get to a level where it's going to be very low you know uh, forbearance for those of you who don't know is a contract between the uh, borrower and the bank the lender uh, so if you were to purchase a home and uh, you didn't pay because of forbearance that is a contract between you and the bank saying that hey i'm going to hold off on these payments until uh, further notice so um, we are we have been showing leveling off uh, a leveling off of these forbearances which is a good news now let's go a little bit over the stats in uh, las vegas and what's happening for the Las Vegas market. Uh, and we can see here sales price. We've gone up uh, from 2019 when we were at 300,000 uh, back in July and August last year. Now we are at $317,000 uh, average median sales price for a home. Okay. Uh, which is which is great. I mean, it's a, it's a great because people have more equity in their homes. A lot of people are uh, refinancing these super low interest rates, which is allowing people to keep uh, more equity or getting out of debt and get through this uh, difficult time. You know, so as I said before, uh, real estate is going to pull us out of this uh, this uh, recession that we're having, and uh, I think we're going to come out pretty strong because of it. Now these are the new listings coming out on the market. We had a you know more listings obviously during the summer season, and that's pretty normal to have. And then now we're having a slowdown. However, um, we're not seeing a slowdown as far as the the buyers coming into the market. So again, this is causing home prices to keep going up. And the homes for sale, in fact, we have inventory has been going down again. Um, these are the homes for sale we have over. Over 7,000 now. And uh, pending sales still going up. Homes are growing up as far as the pending sales. And uh, and then we have uh, the days on the market. We are below one month, which is definitely a seller's market. Now everybody um, that wants to put in a, a, an offer onto a home, if it's a good deal, there's going to be multiple offers on the house. So that's the current market situation right now. Last thing is the month of supply. Right here we have 2.8 months of supplies. Uh, we, it, a healthy market is uh, at around 
uh, you know, four or five months, and we've been having this uh, this this low inventory uh, going on. And yeah, so uh, that's what I wanted to go over today. And um, I hope you got some information out of this. Now it's up to you to come to a conclusion and see, hey, I think maybe next year there's going to be a recession or something. Uh, you know, all the forbearances, all the people that are uh, in forbearance right now are going to be evicted. They're just using this to stay in the house a little bit longer. And that's going to cause a lot of inventory to come onto the market. So I think it's a good time right now to sell because definitely, I mean, now you're going to get top dollars for your home if you sell it. So maybe it is a good idea to move. Or maybe you you think that home prices are going to keep going up. So you rather wait and maybe sell next year. That is totally your decision. But I just wanted to give you more of an insight on what it is like right now. And uh, also if you're a buyer, you know, maybe you think, hey, Buying a home, it might be a good time right now because of the low interest rates. Uh, we've heard from the Federal Reserve, uh, however, uh, the, they have a re had a report, a meeting that just came out a few days ago, and they said that they plan on keeping low interest rates throughout 2023, okay? Which means that they're not going to touch interest rates, at least until 2023, and that's because they want to try to get the economy back on track due to all the shutdowns that we've been having. Uh, so having low interest rates is it, helping the economy get uh, at least a asset prices are going up. I don't know if the economy is getting any better. Uh, but hopefully we are going to get out of this situation pretty soon. I'm being positive that this coronavirus is going to go away. And, uh, you know, hopefully by after the election, when uh, people are done, you know, with this nonsense, uh, they're going to say, hey, no more coronavirus. We don't care about the coronavirus anymore. Um, and, um, it's going to be gone. Maybe the vaccines. I don't know. I totally don't intend to uh, make this political or anything. And I, I definitely think the virus is real. And uh, it's been uh, causing a lot of pain. Uh, either for people that are suffering from it. Uh, or from uh, the shutdowns and the economic uh, difficulty uh, that everybody are, is in. So uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys need any help with real estate or anything, uh, you know I'm your guy. So feel free to reach out and I'm going to have all my information down in the in the comments down here. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you uh, want to see more uh, videos like this uh, regarding the real estate market uh, in Las Vegas, uh, please feel free to subscribe and uh, you know click the notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a video like this one and uh, so that you you stay up to date with what's happening. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.